there's a, a piece, I actually wrote it down here, there's a, there's a, there's a passage in uh, Soldier, Soldier of the Great War by Mark Helper, which I think is, is the best description of religion that I've ever read. And Anne Rosenbaum actually uses it to explain religion to her son. Um, the protesters filled the, slick, the rain-slicked streets. Their chanting brought Alessandro to a high peak of excitement, and he wanted to join them. Go ahead, his father said. But let me caution you, however. You imagine that you will make a speech. No, I don't, said Alessandro. Yes, you do. I can see it in you. At the Campidoglio, you'll step forward and suddenly Cicero. But Alessandro, they won't let you. And even if they did, you would be speaking to a thousand different conceptions. Everyone has a self-made pass for travel through the terror and sadness of the world. And because in the end, nothing is uh, sufficient. Everyone wants to share his own method, hoping for strength in numbers. And I think that that is religion. I think that everybody is creating a story that they then tell each other and hope for strength in numbers instead of working for individual truth. Um, I think that maybe, given all this, the book, as it is about tribes and groups and the separation that we create and the, and the nervousness that, or, or the hatred or the suspicion with which we, we view each other. Perhaps, though, of, of all the quotes, there is one that it really uh, comes down to. You or Someone Like You is, is my thinking about uh, separation and tribalism and I identity and the ways in which we using these, these self-made passes through the terror of life, create these stories uh, for ourselves and divide ourselves from, from others and hope for strength in numbers. And perhaps if we hoped for something better than that, uh, we would be better people. And there's a quote from Romans, I think 925. I got this actually from, uh, from Toni Morrison. And it's very simple. It's, uh, it's really one line. I will call them my people who are not my people and her beloved who is not beloved. And if you can do that, if you can call people who are not your people your people, if you can, if you can see them as your people and understand them to be that, if you can call uh, someone beloved who was not beloved before, who was not of you, and make her of you, you have, I think, transcended any sort of traditional view of religion in an organized group of a, of a walled-in people. And uh, that, I think, is maybe the most important idea in the entire book.